up, you guys? Thank you for tuning in to Who Gave You the Mic. I'm your girl, Nati Patrice, also known as Ace D, also known as Patience, but that's a whole nother story. Now, if you've checked out my blog, which, if you have not checked out my blog, the link is right below, www.whogaveyouthemic.com. Thank you very much. You will see that my motto, my tagline is entertainment and life's reality check. And that's exactly what I am about to do right now. Now we all know the entertainment world is about violence, drama, drugs, and sex. And as the good old advertisement slogan is, sex sales, you definitely see it in the entertainment world. It is ridiculous. Okay, I kind of emphasize dick a little too much in there. Now, another catchphrase that we all hear a lot is, it's not what you know, it's who you know. But in the entertainment world, it's more like, it's not who you know, it's who you blow. Translation, sleeping your way to the top, well, if that's the case, apparently Lindsay Lohan is the top dog of them all. I mean, she beats out Kim K, who has been rumored, or we all know has dated, over 12 people in the industry. Jennifer Love Hewitt, who has been connected to 15, Drake, 13, Rihanna, 12. I mean, some of these people have crazy numbers. That's a lot. With my research and my mathematics, that's a lot of people. But the top dog of them all is Miss Lizzie Lohan, who apparently In Touch Magazine has gotten a hold of a certain list that she wrote out of her 36. Yeah, you heard right. 36 guys she has been, mm, how should we say, intimate with. That's a crazy number. But let me stay on the entertainment side of things. I looked at this list, and this list looks like a Baskin and Robbins special edition list and some. But one thing I did notice about her list, she never really dipped her hand in the chocolate. She stayed to a little bit of caramel, then she left it and went straight to the white cap coat and the marshmallows. I ain't mad at you, cause some of these guys are really good looking. There's Justin Timberlake, Colin Farrell, Heath Ledger, God rest his soul, Orlando Bloom, Ryan Filippi, some Grecian multi-billionaire. Then to top it off, when she did dip her hand in a little caramel, it was with her ex-boyfriend Wilmer. You know who I'm talking about, Mr. Fez off of that 70s show. And then she must have had some hippy dippy 70s love going around spreading that love, cause she also did it with Ashton Kutcher. Now what puzzles me, I still haven't seen Aaron Carter or that one DJ chick she dated. Yeah, those were two of her bigger exes and they're not on the list or they still haven't been revealed just yet. That's pretty bad if your two main exes haven't been revealed, but everybody and their mama have. Now let's flip this over to real life, shall we? Now my ladies out there, how many times have you and all your girls, you know your close girls, the ones you really share a bond with, y'all sat down, you know, maybe you had a sip of wine, or for you younger ladies, had a sip of Kool-Aid, and was chatted up, and you know, you were writing out your list of dudes that y'all used to get a little cozy with, your little cuddle buddies, your lovers, whatever the case may be, and you were talking and chatting with your girls like, uh-huh. Girl, he was the bomb.com.org.this.that. Or, ugh, I regret him. Oh my God, he was horrid. Girls, we've all had those moments where we shared that information with our best friends. We wrote out the list and we told our girls and they told us theirs. But what's the first thing you do after that? I'll wait. Exactly. You destroy the list. No one in their right mind would have this list floating around. That's just stupid. That's idiotic. I don't understand how this list got around in the first place. Every girl knows when you write this type of list, you destroy it. Now, I'm not promoting promiscuous activities or going around and sleeping with a whole bunch of people. No, I ain't about that sex and city life. I'm not about that girl's life or girlfriends or scandal or being Mary Jane type of lifestyle. That's not me, okay? But as 
an older, more mature woman that I am now, destroy the list. I don't give a care what you do, just destroy it. You don't wanna be like Lindsay Lohan with 36 dudes on your list? Are you serious? I don't have 36, I don't have half of it, I don't have a third of it, I don't have a fourth of it. And I don't even want to have that many dudes, okay? So, ladies, this reality check is, this is either a publicity stunt or Lizzie Lohan is straight tripping because she didn't get that memo to destroy the list. Boo Boo Lindsay, get your life right. So what do you guys think about Lizzie Lohan's whole sex capade list? Do you think I'm being overly biased, being a little judgmental? Is 36 the new norm in this day and age? I mean, girls have double digits now. If you think I'm wrong, might check me if you will. Comment below. Also, if you have not checked out the blog, you can find that in the description box down below, as well as my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All that stuff is down below as well. You know what, you guys? I gotta go, and I got to get out of here. So until next time, you have just tuned out of Who Gave You The Mic? I'm your girl, Natia, and I will see you later. Ah! Peace. Kelso and Fez got to dip it up in the Lizzie Lohan.